Welcome to another Maxi Shine video. Today we're going to be looking at the world's fastest graphics card. Finally, the GDX 690. This is going into a mini ATX build I'm doing for my uh, driving simulator to replace my um, main system. So I've gone with the GDX 690 hoping we could at least match the 580s and we'll do some tests later actually to see if it does. Let's go ahead and open this up and get a look at this monster of a graphics card which is by far the most expensive graphics card I've ever purchased. It is $1,600 for a single graphics card. Very, very plain packaging. Just some paperwork thrown on top. You can see there, you can see the card straight away. Look, all the models at the moment are just reference models. A Asus Gigabyte, EVGA. No difference whatsoever. Here is the card itself. Initial impressions, not too heavy. Just fitting around in it. Very long, I can tell you that much. Nearly 30 centimeters. Not the longest graphics card ever made, but wow, one of the prettiest, isn't it? Check that out. What an awesome looking thing. Not sure if that's a plastic or an aluminium, feels more like kind of an aluminium. Center fan there. It does look like an expensive card. Check that out. Three DVI ports there. That's going to run my Tri SLI gaming system, the uh, driving simulator. Power there, dual 8 pin PCI Express power. And I'm going to power that up and check it out. Two GTX 680s thrown onto one board basically was what this card is. With a little bit of a lower clock speed. Four gigabytes of memory which is two gigabytes per card. So you're only going to get two gig gigabytes of uh, GDDR5. Which is pretty low. But there's not much choice. I haven't heard about any 8 gig versions of this coming out. Core clock of 915 MHz and memory of 6008 MHz. Let's have a quick look underneath. I would have loved to see a backplate on this. There's nothing like that. Have a quick look at that. There you go. Get this little beast powered up and see what it performs like. 